in the third temptation of Jesus, Satan took Jesus to a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and its glory. The Satan then said to Jesus, All this I will give you if you fall down and worship me. But Jesus answered, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. In today's time, which are the ways we are tempted similar to Jesus' third temptation? Here are some examples. Many people are tempted by the allure of power, whether it be political power, corporate power, or personal power. This can lead to a focus on achieving success and influence at all costs, even if it means compromising one's values or ethics. Wealth is often seen as a measure of success and happiness, and many people are tempted to pursue it at all costs. This can lead to a focus on material possession and financial gain rather than on relationship and personal growth. Our culture often places a high value on material possession, popularity and success. This can lead to a temptation to idealize this thing and put them above our relationship with God. In order to achieve success and wealth, many people are tempted to compromise their values and ethics. This can lead to a loss of integrity and a lack of authenticity. In an individualistic culture, we are often tempted to put our interests above the interests of the others. This can lead to a lack of compassion and empathy to those in need and a focus on personal gain rather than serving others. How do we overcome this temptation? Here are some steps you can take to overcome temptation similar to the third temptation of Jesus. It is important to be aware of your personal weaknesses. By identifying these areas, you can take steps to avoid situations or trigger that will lead to temptation. A strong faith can help you resist temptation. Spend time in prayer and reading the Bible to strengthen your relationship with God and seek guidance for facing temptation. Knowing and remembering your values can help you resist this temptation and the importance of staying true to them. Surround yourself with people who share your values and can offer support and encouragement. Having accountability partner or mentor can help you stay on track and resist temptation. If possible, avoid situation or people that may lead to temptation. For example, if you are trying to quit smoking, avoid spending time with people who smoke. Develop self-control by practicing small acts of self-discipline in your daily life. This will help you build the strength to resist temptation when faced with a bigger challenge. If you give in to a temptation, seek forgiveness from God or others if necessary, and that God's grace is available to those who seek it. Jesus' response to the devil emphasized the importance of worshipping God alone. This reminds us that no matter what temptation we face, we must prioritize our relationship with God above all other matters. Jesus did not give in to the devil's temptation, but instead stood firm in his faith. This reminds us that we too should stand firm in the face of temptation and resist the devil's temptation to lead us astray. For our scripture reading, read from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthian, chapter 10, verse 13. And now let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the example of Jesus and his victory over temptation. Help us to remember his words, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. As we face the many temptations that come our way, give us the strength to resist temptation and to stay true to our values and faith. Help us to remember that we are not alone in our struggles and that you are always with us, providing a way out of temptation. May we rely on your guidance and support and may we honor you in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.